It just puts a smile on my face to see the elderly population working out in the parks in the morning. Hey, good morning, Grandma, Grandma, and Grandpa had an amazing night's sleep. My neck, I'd say, is probably about 80, 90% better right now. Yesterday was one of those bad days. The thing you have to remember with the bad days is that they will eventually be over and then you will have some good days. And today's gonna be a great day. Beautiful weather here in Takamatsu, Japan. The park that we camped at has fishing pier, so a lot of fishing going on here. And a lot of like little art things. Like it's kind of got like an artsy feel to it. Le at, le at, le at, le at. This one's actually walkable. Le at. Very clean. It was actually an amazing night's sleep. I feel fantastic. I feel refreshed. I was on the brink of exhaustion. So breakfast is usually some sort of bread. I really like these matcha bean pancakes and coffee. This is what we have for breakfast pretty much every day. It's just like, it's just like freaking buzzing. Turn <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Between my brain and my ear. It's turned into yellow foam, just bizzle it out. <laughs> yeah, you can dump that, dump it out. Eric actually just gave me a little procedure here. He chucked some hydrogen peroxide right down my ear. It's like fizzing like a volcano, it was hectic. It softened the earwax and stuff that was in there, so it made it a lot easier to exit out of my ear. And now, I can hear. Obsession. Cody got his first flat tire. He's working on that. I have not gotten a flat. I was actually thinking about that yesterday. Like, I haven't gotten a flat yet. Our Japan roads have been pretty clean. I got a ton of flats in the States because our roads are so filthy with debris. We just stumbled upon a splash park. I did not see this last night at all. And there's kids splashing. Uh, homeboy was actually swimming over here. I think we're just gonna flop in and take a bath. <laughs> Cody just shampooed up. When's the last time you took a bath? Seven days ago. He's just so happy that he's in Japan. This feels brilliant. It's like Star Trek in Japan. Le art. We just had lunch and somebody set up an impromptu slack line. So slack lining is this like hobby leisurely activity. I think it's actually some sort of like hippie sport. I don't know, but you tie up three inch cord, flat corded line between like two things there to there. And then you, it has slack in it. So it gives a little bit, it has a little trampoline -y feel. And you try to like walk across it. You can do tricks. You can do like all these different things. I used to be decent at it like four years ago, but now I am awful. My muscle memory is just completely forgotten how to do it. Now we got to catch the ferry. So we're going from there to there. I just got my ticket for that ferry. It was about 10 bucks. Now we're gonna load up. Shouldn't be more than a 30 minute ride until we arrive in Tonosho in Shoto Island. Dude, this is awesome. They have, they have couches. <laughs> I guess that's first class. We always ride coach. A ton of seating. We got a cafe, got video games, got vending machines, a no shoes area where I'm charging my power bank over there. So many snacks. And then outside, there's another eating and seating area. sunset over here. We waited 
until a little after six o'clock to take the ferry. Number one, so we could see an amazing sunset, and number two, so we could eat a lot of frogs today. Goodbye! We rode a total of three kilometers today to get to our Wi-Fi to eat our frogs. We're still covering distance via this ferry. We're still having our adventure. If you are enjoying this content, please make sure to thumb the video up. It means a lot to us. If you have any encouraging comments or you wanna send us your travel prayers, please do so. Thanks everybody for watching and make sure to check out tomorrow's video if you wanna see where we urban camped and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.